Now, police sources in Jamaica say the gunman, who's believed to have shot dead an eight-year-old British girl, has been killed. Imani Green died after a man opened fire in her relative's shop on Friday. Politicians say she was a victim of a violent war over the proceeds of lottery scams. Our Home Affairs correspondent Simon Israel reports. Imani Green was in Jamaica to get better. She suffered from sickle cell anemia. The Caribbean climate offered better relief than the UK's. But the young girl became another victim in a violent war over the spoils from lottery scams, which has seen, according to Jamaican ministers, 500 murders in five years on the western side of the island. Imani was not the target, police say, but she was with a relative who was. A masked man pointed a gun into this family shop and opened fire. One bullet went through the back wall. There was a bullet hole too in a tin of paint, another in the wooden counter, and another behind the fridge. The girl was hit in the head and the shoulder. Three of her cousins were injured, but are alive. Nah, so where is the man? Where is the man? And she comes down, comes down straight over and then she peep in the shop and she peep in the shop. She said, "You man, you dead." So I said, "Oh, we man, you dead. Oh, we man, if we dead." And she said, "No, man, you dead." And I come and I peep and I say, "I lie down there and pop cool and hot blood." Imani was due to return to her school in South London next week. Today, many there were overwhelmed by the news of her death. It is unbelievable. It doesn't feel real and everybody is numb today. My staff are having to be very brave and strong because they are in there in the classrooms with their children and the children will be asking questions. And you will appreciate there aren't answers to many of those questions and just talking about it will be very challenging for all the adults in school today. In the last hour, Jamaican police sources say the gunman they believe shot Imani has been killed nearby. Police had been working on a theory that she was the accidental victim of a street gang hit in revenge for another shooting which took place in December.